This is one of my favorite snakes. This is an hey, anaconda. Dad, it's coming this way. Don't I, don't, I don't want it. <laughs> oh, he weighs. <laughs> I guess. Well, just to let you know, Ellen, this is a female snake. Yeah, okay. So. <laughs> it weighs too much. It weighs about 200 pounds. Now, do this they? This is an anaconda. Yes. Do they bite? But they. Well, anything with teeth can bite. Well, it's got it near my arm. Well, he's just. <laughs> He's just tasting you. How do you know it's not going to bite? Oh, I don't know. I just make this stuff up as I go along. <laughs> no, he's not. He's in a great mood. But, uh... Ah! <laughs> Get back here! <laughs> Ellen, the generous. All right, I'll hold him. You just stand right here. That is ridiculous. Something tells me. Something tells me we're gonna need that hypnotist back so you can go back and forget this whole segment. Oh, man. So this is, the, and by it's, the way, remember I said- It's shedding. It's shedding. So remember I said you were gonna help me and so I'm on my own. So this is a 200 pound anaconda. Uh -huh, right. And basically, I'm feeling my sciatic and lower lumbar collapse. Uh huh. But as you alluded to, he's a squeezer. Yeah. He uses constriction to kill his prey. Oh, he's gonna make a telephone call too. Uh huh. So he uses, Constriction to crush the life out of his prey. Right. This is a female green anaconda. And it's in the boa constrictor family? It's in the boa family. And if you look, something's really cool. If you can see close up at his eyes. Yeah, his eyes the disappear. Eyes, isn't that cool? Yes. His eyes are at the top of his head. His eyes are at the top of his head. And he has the ability to sort of allow his whole body to disappear. So turn around for a second. Show no. some. So when he reaches out and he grabs on, <laughs> he's got those hook teeth. I wish you could he, get that face. And look, I mean. Isn't that cool? And he holds on tightly with the hook teeth and then wraps around the prey yes. and constricts it. Yes, I know. And th this, this animal could easily push 250, 300 pounds. And he's, about, he's pushing almost 19 feet in length. Oh. And he seems quite content. Yeah, no, he does, except that I just don't know how they're not going to, that you don't. You know, what if they just decide to bite? Well, you know, uh, you, he would be displaying sort of aggressive behavior, well, we which are he too. is not. We're being aggressive towards it. No, actually, he's pretty cool. I mean, he's right. actually getting everything he wants. He has security. Uh huh. He has stability to support his weight because he's ah! so. <laughs> <laughs> to support his weight. Yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> He's a heavy snake. Now, if that bear that was just out here and this snake were fighting, who would win? It would be pretty ugly. But my bet, my money would be on the anaconda. Really? Because if this snake could grab on and wrap around and squeeze, there's really is no escape from it. They're just so incredibly but powerful. The... An animal like this could eat in weight twice of that bear. Really? He could eat a hundred plus pound Cause, animal. Because they unhinge their jaws. They don't unhinge. Oh. Their jaws, when they're eating, their jaws stretch to about eight times bigger than at rest. So basically, if he was gonna swallow my head, You're he could, because his head, he might have to stop at the chest, but uh, he literally has that ability to stretch and swallow the, an animal this wide. Wow, that's amazing. Isn't he awesome? Yeah, he's amazing. And where do they live, South America? South America, lives in the rainforest, lives in the Amazon. All right, well, that's incredible. Oh, it looks like I'm getting some now, too. All man. right, yeah. Get out of there. <laughs> It's Make a, a decision. It's a weird feeling, I'll tell yeah, you that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>